Hi everyone, Dave Burroughs from the Roads and Rails Museum here. I'm here today to show you how we've revived our LEGO train display, which has been suffering lately due to the older system it uses. LEGO first started with a, a system using metal topped track that brought power through metal wheels to the electric motor. This system is best for us since we have our trains behind glass and find replacing and charging battery packs to be very inconvenient. It lets us use buttons and, lay, and now motion detectors to run the trains only when visitors enter the room. It's a model of operation that's also most common with model trains. LEGO later went on to a rechargeable battery model more suited to the home environment and uh, it uses track without the metal surface. It's great for the general public, not so great for us. We had to start ordering replacement motors from Europe at high cost and this was not sustainable for our business. But we have found a workaround a way to buy the new battery-oriented motors and convert them to track power. Let's see how we did it. I ordered some of the new motors with the wires that connect to the onboard battery pack. My first plan was to build my own pickups with copper strips attached to the bottom of the truck below the motor. So I cut off the wires, opened the truck, and soldered the new wires directly to the motor. It worked for seconds at a time, and then the copper pickups bent. I could have built stronger ones with more material, but then I would be risking extreme wear and damage to the track itself, and that is not a worthwhile risk. So I went to the next plan, to use the old track power trucks as power pickups, and then run the power through wires to the new motors. The new trucks open with a few screws, but the old ones have to be cut open with a rotary tool. I destroyed one old truck, doing that, but then had success with the next and was able to cut out the old worn can motor and solder the wires to the new one. And it works. You have to be consistent about what wires you attach to what side of the wheels. As long as they all match, you won't have the train pulling in both directions at once. I've attached a link to some uh, real experts on the subject and uh, they'll tell you uh, exactly wh where you have to uh, attach your, your wires to. I soldered everything together myself. I am sure persons more knowledgeable than me will have their own ideas about how uh, better to accomplish this goal and I eagerly await their input in the comments. Others will post links about how cheaply they can get the old style trucks and how this is all a waste of time. What this video is about is a consistent supply of power trucks at a consistent predictable price. That's, that's what the business is here. Thanks for watching. I can't wait to see you all at the museum. We're at 200 North Street, Frederick, Maryland. We have our own parking. You can find our hours on Facebook and on our website, www.roadsrails.com or roadsandrailsmuseum.com. Thanks for watching the video. Bye-bye.